in studio at 9am and here I am rushing to get a sleeve sewn for my first twirl because the teacher was going to review our silhouette lineup in the morning. It has been quite busy for the last couple of weeks with all the assignments and work due around the same time. I've only recently just handed in my marketing assignment which you will see me complete in this video. Well, kinda, just the time lapse, but you know. For that week, we needed to have sewn a basic silhouette of our garment and the teacher was going to review our full collection lineup to review if our collection is cohesive enough and give pointers on where to fix up, whether it be technical or design-wise. Here's a little close-up of our garments. That green one, my friend, is literally one of my favorite pieces. This one's mine. And moving on with the next two designs, those two actually ended up getting changed almost completely to suit the collection. Now, the reason why you see the pink and green fabrics was because since this was our draft, we wanted to use fabrics that is similar to what our final fabric will be because we have quite a few flowy and transparent kind of fabrics and this sketch is our final lineup now a little review on my top you can see there are chalked lines and pin folds where i need to fix so that the top will fit better around the bust area especially the store features so much in my videos now like never met your parents not even your mother but let's see where this leads what should we do and the city you look like that this breaks your little heart in my oh my god look who's here again <laughs> hi guys i'm cc's friend he's my best friend yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went back to the studio for the afternoon to finish my patterns. As you can see in my trial two, I changed the curve of the bust line and I had to go in a little bit under the bust to make sure it fits better. I also made the overall length shorter so it would finish right at the waistline. Sewing the curved area, especially around the bust, was really hard because one curve is going outwards and the other curve is going inwards and I'm supposed to make a match somehow. After I finished sewing only the front of the piece, I pinned it onto a mannequin to see how it would fit. And oh my god, <laughs> I was really frustrated because um, the top, there was still excess fabric left as the curve didn't really hug the mannequin properly. And I spent a long time just pinning and trying to figure out where to sew in so I get the correct fitted curve shape. So it is... The Wednesday, the day after my studio. Now the game plan is... <laughs> I'm gonna be so busy this week. Today, I'm going to film, create content, and edit a video. Tomorrow, Thursday, spend the whole day in the library working on my marketing proposal because it's due on the Friday. Spend most of Friday finishing it up. And if I have time, I'm gonna work on my YouTube. Saturday, go into studio and do my sewing. And Sunday, go to the library again for <laughs> my fashion technology assignment. <sighs> oh, and a side note. <laughs> Look what came in. Clothes. This is what I spent my first paycheck on. <laughs> but like, damn. Inner child me is so happy. Okay, but this means more cool outfits and content for you guys. Like, <gasps> Look at this vest. Oh my god. And like... Okay, so the shiny fabrics were these two translucent, this little <laughs> shirt. And I also got this one. This one is like an opaque version. It's got like a bluey sheen. Oh my god. Love me some. These are like perfect for layering. 
for winter and summer and autumn and spring because it's like transparent you know it's like really thin and loose and also this one as well because it's a vest oh my god guys this is my first cool vest and then oh my god you know this purple tube top that i always wear now i have matching flared pants for it oh my god not me wearing purple pants okay but this is fitted and i can wear it out this is at home lounging okay and this lastly You'd think my favorite shade of purple is a lilac. I'd say this is second place, but I think my most top favorite shade of purple is somewhere in this range. You know, this color. Like, this was the shade of purple that made me fall in love with purple at eight years old. Yeah. <laughs> I know Dangerfield is like really expensive, hence these were all on sale and also using money that I earned by myself. <laughs> that means I get to spend it on whatever I want. And I'm also so surprised because like usually it's hard to find things in my size. These are all like size sixes. Yeah, they're all size six except for this one shirt which is a size eight which shirts don't really matter if it's like a little bit bigger. I mean this would, I would say just right. Anyways, excited! Okay, I need I need to work. Come on. Okay, so I just filmed. Dude, guys, this little oh, this is my parents' room by the way. Do you see the little heart ring light in my phone? That's my setup. <laughs> about my marketing assignment. It's the midnight tonight. I'm going to go to the library after I finish eating to do all the references, proofread, see if everything makes sense, and do my swap table. That's everything I need to do. I'm actually surprised. I did pretty damn well writing it all down, especially not feeling so stressed considering I was like a tiny bit stressed last week. Okay, not gonna lie, I am like a tiny bit stressed about my studio work instead because that top that top is the only thing that was stressing me out. That day I was like, dude, I'm done. I am out. I will come back <laughs> tomorrow. I'm gonna go into the studio tomorrow to figure it out. <laughs> but honestly, at the moment, my goal is just to get a pass in all my assignments. Like, I'm not really that hard on myself on getting the highest grade. You might be like, what? Someone who used to get excellence and doors and everything in high school now just wants the pass and doesn't care about the highest grade? Because it doesn't matter anymore. I don't care. <laughs> Gotta prioritize and balance my mental health. <gasps> oh, and also, happy Aries full moon. Astrologically, that signifies like the beginning of the year, like a brand new year in astrology. Like the first Aries new moon, because Aries is the first sign in the chart. And it's a new moon, and new moons are perfectly for setting your intentions and manifesting, and like, what do you know? Last night, literally around midnight, right? <laughs> this clothing brand that I really like emailed me for a collaboration. Y'all! 
their clothing are like really pretty clothing and i'm like man and i still saw them like doing collaborations with like other social media people and i'm like damn i want to do a collab with them because i genuinely like their brand also save some money because i'm a broke girl you know if i can do a collab so i tried to make them notice me <laughs> I followed them on like all social media, right? And then I commented on the posting like, oh my god, I love this. It's my style. And what do you know? They sneak up in my DMs. <laughs> also, Jupiter is in Pisces and I'm a Pisces rising. And Pisces are finally getting their, like their moment, their protagonist moment this year, like Pisces and like Aries in the middle of the year, but then Pisces to finish up the year. And guys, I have so much like collabs and like behind the scenes work going on at the surface level like right now you're just seeing me doing like fashion uni stuff and like lately i like introduced the whole like content creator for a tv show but at the moment <laughs> i got on two brands pr lists a makeup brand a jewelry brand i'm like waiting to get sent my first pr from them and they're monthly prs guys I girl boss my way from being a broke ass girl to <laughs> and I'm going to this event for free during mid sem break to make a TikTok for them and it's in New Zealand. <sighs> and now I have a clothing brand like truly oh my God. I feel like a little girl <sighs> having her dreams come true and I they should. You know what? I saw this thing on TikTok. And then I'm going to give the advice to you. Be delusional. Fuck what everybody talk about this whole be realistic. My key to life, the reason why I be having so much fun is I'm delusional as fuck. Bitch, a guy can literally just breathe next to me and immediately I'm like, oh my God, he won't like, he was trying to clap these sheets. He tried to get me in his sheets. Like, just think about it. Who are you hurting by being delusional? Who are you hurting by thinking you are the shit? You gonna be, I think I'm gonna be the first millionaire in my family. Do I have proof of that? Hell fucking no. So I say again, be delusional as fuck. Like whatever it is in life, whether you want to fucking raise, you want to be your own boss, you really want this fucking guy. Just in my head, I think every fucking body wants me or wants to be me. And if you go back to manifestation, it always says what you believe you will attract. So by you believing that you are the shit, whatever great things are coming your way, eventually it's gonna have to manifest in your real life. So be delusional, fuck this realistic. It's more fun to be delusional anyway, but come again. If you're being realistic, you ain't gonna have your dreams come true, you know? Like if they're gonna ask you, do you have a plan B? Like, what happens if this doesn't succeed? Like, no. It will succeed. There is no plan B because it will never result to plan B. I will get at what I want. Okay, and that's it. <laughs>I really like the chains and belts from Maru. Like just having a little chain around your waist or hip to spice up any outfit. Okay, tell me in the comments please whether I should get the skirt. I'm currently looking for some staple pleated skirts. And the fabric, the texture, the detail of the pearl button. It is so preppy and adorable. Oh, and this white vest. I've actually been needing to get a white sweater vest. And I'm also debating on getting a black blazer to upcycle. But um, in the end, I did get my white sweater vest. So yay. to studio that day it was only me and this one other girl that was in my group i guess people don't usually go to uni on a saturday though i had quite a bit of work to do as you can see on the shorts i needed to fix the length so that it would match up and i've also gone ahead and added a couple centimeters to the waist so that it would sit a little higher and it won't be low waisted i spent the afternoon cutting out fabric for my shorts as well as pattern pieces for my top because i needed to work out the fit of the bust area you know it's so tedious because it takes a really long time to cut out fabric and make patterns and for the past couple of weeks I've just been patterning in studio cutting out all the fabric in studio and I take the fabrics home to finish sewing at home 
otherwise I would be at studio all day and night because I spend the entire afternoon doing all that patterning and cutting and also at home I don't really have a proper table space to do all my fabric cutting and patterning here I am making a pattern from a basic block adding a one centimeter seam allowance and a diagonal slit and now patterning the front piece however there was a dart in the front piece so while making my new pattern I closed it off and here I am taking my curved ruler to make that cut at the front because there is a curved shape to the front of the woman's chest and not a flat back but when you put it on a mannequin it would look like this so it looks pretty similar to my drawing To finish the end of the day, I sewed the front piece and to be honest, I was quite annoyed and frustrated with the curve because I had already fixed the pattern to fit but somehow there was still extra fabric at the front that I needed to pin in and because this was the only time I could work on it, I just sewed the excess fabric in without properly making the pattern adaption because I needed to have my entire full outfit ready for Tuesday for reviewing from the teacher and I was in a time crunch so I rushed. <laughs> Heading back to the train, I ended up leisurely walking down the entire main road of the city and although I was walking alone and it was slowly getting dark, it was oddly comforting. It felt peaceful and like for a moment in time there was nothing to worry about, which is also kind of funny because the last time I genuinely felt that was uh, when I was with my ex one time. But I've been meaning to find that peaceful, nice feeling by myself. And I think for the past month especially, I have been getting better. Oh, and here's a random skincare face mask application to end off the week. And guys, look, this is a Taro Milk Tea lip gloss with those mini little pearls, which is so adorable. Like what? I don't think it's meant for like moisturizing or as a lip balm, but like I use it as that because it felt really moisturizing and nice like a lip mask but yeah lately i've genuinely been getting better and a lot of focus has been put on me myself and not stupid boys <laughs> as in giving all the love and attention to myself not too fussed on getting into a relationship so quick but if someone comes it'll happen and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Mwah.